do you see this big setup right here? This is how I seriously test batteries, not some computer. Stay tuned. We're going to be going into that inverter here real quick. You're going to love this thing. All right, now we're in here with the Sweet Power Zia, made by Zia. It's a Sweet Power 3200 watt inverter. Now, this is a 12 volt model. They make models all the way from 12 volt, 24, 36. Yeah, you can get 36 for like putting on your golf cart. 48, 60, and 72. And if you uh, send them a message, 96. Yeah, I don't know if you want one of those, but this one here is a very powerful inverter. It will carry a load better than anything, and the price, these things are under 350 bucks, pure sine wave, and they have been around for 20 years. So this company is not one of those just showed up on Amazon with some freaky little, you know, multiple initials name. This is the real deal, okay? I've been using these now for over 12 years. And I can tell you that nothing beats them. They're just, they're, they're tough. Um, so I'm set up right now. You see all this in here. Uh, we do a, a, a real test. So I'm going to give you a little information there. A real test, when I use batteries, like these power queens, I have to use these two power queens to run this. I don't have a choice. I got to have something with more balls than an Angus bull. Okay. So this is why I use the power queens. So if you want to see any of these items, look below the video. I'm going to put links to them and including this really sweet, nice, handy oscilloscope. So we have a load set for numerous different reasons. Now these sitting over here, let me show you that. I'll grab one is what you'd call an engine oil heater. Okay. Now this one here's a thermostat for 180. This one over here has a thermostat for, for 210. Um, but they automatically on and off and they kind of work really nice. And I just put them on a heat sink. You get out of uh, old RV refrigerators. So if you see in the back of an old RV refrigerator, that is the heat sink, basically the condenser. And that's what I use. Now back on this, this inverter here is 3,200 watt with 6,400 watt peak. Now the peak is only good for about two seconds. Um, maybe four uh, in the uh, 5,000 range you can carry about 3,500 to 3,800 watts. It'll carry it for 10, 15 seconds. No problem. The fan is deadly quiet. You won't even know it's on. And it's, it's, it's one of the best built models I got out there. Now here's the funny part. And this is going, going to show you some, some factoids. You see this right here and you see the structure of this inverter. This inverter here was relabeled for an eBay seller. It's not anywhere else. This is 12 years old. It's manufactured by Zia. So X I J I A. The same company made this. It's 12 years old. I bought this inverter. You see it's upside down there. Eight of 11. Uh, and installed it. Eight of 11. First time it ever got used. I think I bought it sometime in the summer of 11. But this inverter is 12 years old. Has been running security systems and Wi-Fi for 12 years or for 10 and a half of the years. And then I pulled it when I moved out of Idaho down here. So we are going to run this sweet power and we're going to run it on a heavy run. It's got a amp meter right there. And that is the Kowitz. That is a really nice AC and DC. I'll, I'll, I'll link that too. So look under the video. You'll see what all of these items, including these, these big monsters. And if you want to know more about how to do this, it's just that. You see, this is 150. And this one over here is a 100. And there's just screws for standoffs. And you'll notice that the hotter the, the hotter it is, it's a little bit taller than the other. All right. So we're going to go ahead and power up some things to show you how we do the test right quick on the batteries. So we're just going to set this up here and and then you'll see how how this meter corresponds with what we're doing. And I'm just going to use this little older Zia. Pay no attention to that sticker. It's a Zia. It's the same thing. And you can even notice the same build, the same identical build. They've been doing it this way forever. Now, 
their components have just upgraded every year. But the bodies are pretty old. Now, this is a 2022 November, okay? So it has all the components that are the new, like the new one, if you go back in some of my videos, but they have kept this because the upper body of this has a, a much larger transformers. So they're going to look at making it just probably a quarter inch taller to fit it in there. And then you'll get, you can get the ones with the digital, but you don't need them. This works freaking awesome. You don't have to have it. It gives you all the same information, just, you know, on the side there. This is only about 320 to 50 bucks for 3000 watt true sign. So, all right, now. Over here on this little one here, we've got 115 volts. We're currently pulling 239 watts. And there it is, those two. And let's see here. Let me grab my little heat gun. We're going to get there. We're going to get over there quick. But just showing you how I do the test. So you can see this is heating up real fast. Okay. And over here, this one's same thing. Heating up real fast. And these radiate really good heat. What do I use them for? Chicken coops, water heater, you know, for outside. If you have water heaters close to an outside wall, um, your well pump, they just freaking awesome they're automatic they'll just literally keep it in there warm they'll literally keep it in there and prevent freezing and that's why i build them all right now let's get over here to this currently we're running the the little bodega freezer that is part of testing these batteries now when i test batteries i don't put some little freaky little 50 dollars computer thing with a readout on it that draws it at 10 amps that's that's ignorant that's not how you're going to use your batteries i put on lights i put on lots of lights i put on different items of all kinds you see things that you would normally use i put on refrigeration i put on some heat i hook up inverters and then i draw it down so you'll see there currently we are pulling 26 amps Okay, off of these batteries. And then I use a big, huge bus bar, and we really do a serious pull. Okay, so now you're seeing all of this running, and you're seeing it currently sitting at 25 amps. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and shed some of these, and we will go ahead and turn this thing here off. There we go. And we will look at the voltage. Now, currently, the voltage coming out of there is beautiful pure sine wave. That's coming out of right here. See it? Then we're going to go ahead and start putting on a load. Up here, we have, we're going to go 800 watt resistive. Okay. We're going to look over here. And now we are pulling 77, 76. So it'll balance out about 75. It takes a little starter power for that thing. And you're going to look over here and you're going to see what it's getting in here. So the line measurements are close. 78. Okay. So we're pulling that. We're about, I think we're about three amps off. It's because one of these extra cables to handle the load. Now, voltage still perfect. We're going to go ahead and we're going to power up a big 10 amp vacuum. Voltage still perfect. 183 amps and, and climbing. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see if we can just take it out. This thing's about 12 amps, 12 or 13 amps. So you'll see that cord plugged in right there. And we'll hit the power on it. Now that was a very easy 3,600 plus watts that that handled, no question.
no question. Didn't bother it at all. So what do you think about that? That's a sweet power. CNS WI. It's actually CN SWI power. So X I J I A. If you see one with that branch, the same thing. But the three links below get you to the different places you'll get the better deal. Check them all three and you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, that inverter is about 18 and a half, 19 pounds. They sell one that looks like that from Vever that weighs about 12. Do you think something's missing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And these batteries here, I'll put a link to them. They're on discount. They have 200 amp each BMS can put out. So this is 400 amp. That's why you just saw that thing peak out at, um, what did we hit? Um, I don't know what it was. I'll have to go back and look. I think it was over, way over 300 amps. So this thing here has no problem carrying that load. No problem. So what do you think? That's a hell of a nice setup. Boom. Boom. Kind of like they're made for each other. Don't forget to get your meters and other things. But this thing here never missed a beat. The voltage, perfect, stable, even in that heavy pull. And this thing, unbeatable. It's unbeatable. All those other brands, they don't do what this thing will do. Is it high frequency? Yeah. Being high frequency means nothing nowadays. The filtering that's in these, beautiful. I'd run my most expensive computer or plasma TV on that, no question. All right, guys. Now, what's this thing doing? 239 watts. And hot. There you go. There's your sweet power and the batteries that'll push it right there. Timed out. Time's up. You guys be good. Still running heat.